My name is Cullen Cable. I'm going to be a senior at Wimberley High School and I went to Finland this summer. So I left from Austin. I went up to New York through Iceland and then I landed in Helsinki. Uh, from Helsinki, I took a very scenic and beautiful train ride to my host uh, city of Kokola. Um, there, I met up with my host family and we did a lot of um, very typical Finnish things. We went to the different historical markers. We did a lot of sightseeing. A lot of Finland, I can tell, is a, a lot of the beauty that's around there, a lot of the forests and the different hiking trails and trees and stuff. Uh, when we went to the camp, we did a lot more of the touristy things. Uh, we went to different uh, tar factories. We went um, on the bus to different cities. Uh, we were able to go to the market center, some of the bigger cities, the rivers, the lakes, go swimming. And the main thing we did with them was go to the saunas, which was absolutely amazing. Uh, a lot of the times we went through hiking trails into the forest. The trees are really tall, really straight, and everything is absolutely beautiful. We climbed one of the largest rocks in Finland, which was really, it was cool and exciting, which I know like we, uh, we have something very similar in Texas, so that was interesting. There's also some of the ocean and the beaches that they have there, which are really pretty and really clean. I want to thank the Lions personally for this amazing opportunity that I've had. It's extremely changed my life. I've never been able to see more of the world and I've met so many incredible people. Uh, I can't thank them enough for this experience. Hi, my name is Avery Biggers. Uh, in the fall, I will be studying communication at Texas A&M. In the summer, I went to the Netherlands. I arrived in Amsterdam and met my family there and we did a bike tour through Amsterdam. It was like a two hour bike tour. It was super awesome. We got to see the entire city, like the Anne Frank House, the Van Gogh Museum, pretty much everything you could possibly think of. And then I went to a camp and throughout my time I pretty much saw the entire country of the Netherlands. We went mud walking, so basically at a certain time of day the sea level goes down so far that you can walk across the sea. So we went to this um, city called Giatorn. It's a really small town and there's no roads, it's only canals, so they call it the Venice of the Netherlands. Um, and it was super pretty, we went rowing and just had a really great time with our camp. My favorite thing about the trip was that I have memories that will last a lifetime and friendships that will last a lifetime. And I'll honestly never forget it and I'm going to keep in touch with everyone. And so I just want to thank the Lions for this amazing experience. Um, I learned so much about myself and I learned so much about the world and other countries that I would have never known if I hadn't gone on this trip. Um, it was just such a great life experience and something that I'll honestly never forget. And I just want to thank you all for giving me the opportunity to do this. Um, it was just an incredible experience. Hi, my name is Henry Price. I'm a senior at Wimberley High School. And this summer I went with the Lions Youth Exchange to Japan. In, in Japan, um, with my host family, um, we went around to like a lot of old places in the Kyoto and Osaka area in the south of Japan. Um, it was, it's so beautiful there. Everything is green and it's all very mountainous and temples are so, there's just so beautiful. One of the times at the camp, we went to this thing called the Tenjin Festival. All of the campers got on this big barge boat with speakers on it and they, uh, there's a bunch of barges that go down this river. There was this chant that they would chant out to the other boats and they would chant it back. We would eat food on the boat. It was like a parade, but with boats. My first family was um, this, she was like 85. Um, she'd been in this, been in the same area for like 65 years. It was, it was, it was cool talking to her about how Japan had changed, like industrialized throughout this time. And the Lions Club, they took me to um, this temple on a mountain. I like learned how to like meditate with this Buddhist monk, and we we just like hung out, and he like gave me stuff. We we meditated. It's like a whole process that I didn't know that there was. Like get in the meditation room, you have to like walk a certain way and like go a certain path. I, I made um, breakfast tacos for for them and I also made chili and cornbread and they, they absolutely loved it. I just want to say thank you to the Lions. This experience will change my life like forever, I think. And um, I, I'm very grateful to the Lions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Evan Mayhew and this past year I just recently graduated from Wimberley High School and this year I'll be attending Baylor University. This summer, I flew to Australia on the Lions School of Youth Exchange and had an amazing time. So on day one, landed in Australia, and then that's when I met my host family. And we went to wildlife parks and got to see various animals like cassowaries, koalas, kangaroos, emus, all kinds of Australian icons. Played some golf with 
kangaroos on the golf course. That was very different, used to having deer go across the golf course. We spent some time um, with the Rungis up at the coast, which they had a really nice beach unit to where we were right on the beach and we could just go down the elevator and walk right out to the beach. And so we got to go surfing, bodyboarding, just swimming and hanging out on the beach and had an amazing time. We started out with an hour long surf lesson and then later on um, at the camp we actually got to go surfing again so I actually had a leg up on most people and got to just go surf without the lessons and have more fun surfing. I tried not to worry about sharks. Um, there were a couple times we went paddle boarding once at one of their friend's house and it was murky water and they later told us that um, it was like almost bull shark breeding season and that's where all the bull sharks go to get to the lake so I tried to keep that in mind but also out of my mind so I can enjoy it but other than that surfing we were in a safe area well, or at least that's what they told us who knows there might be <laughs> sharks everywhere so at the camp we got to go surfing bodyboarding we went to the Australia Zoo which was amazing I got to hold a koala and pet a kangaroo, which was really fun. Nothing like freezing cold water. And then we got to go surfing again, as I said, and that was such a great time. We were just in the Pacific Ocean, and we could just surf right up to the beach. We had the whole beach to ourselves. and Also got to meet so many different people from so many different countries. I think there are 15 different countries with all kinds of people, and each time it's just an amazing experience meeting all kinds of people. i like to thank the Lions um, for all that they've done for me. Um, being fortunate enough to go on this youth exchange twice, it's just been amazing all that you've done for me and I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ingram Gray. I go to Catherine and Porter School and this year I went to Denmark. I flew into Copenhagen and immediately drove to my first host family. I had a great time there, we did a lot of things and we, I experienced a lot of the culture of Denmark. My first family had five people, and although most of them didn't speak English, their 17-year-old son did. Um, with my second host family, we went on a lot of natural trails, and it was really great to see the nature of Denmark and to be able to experience all of the natural life. And they brought me to a castle, they brought me around Copenhagen. Then going into the camp, I went to Copenhagen a couple more times. We went canoeing, we went camping, it was very fun and I had a lot of experiences meeting new people and having a great time in Denmark. I think one thing that I loved about going to Denmark was seeing all the art and the way that people um, e expressed themselves. There was a lot of great architecture, there was a lot of great artwork and um, it was a very modern culture. One thing I loved about Denmark was that people had their own gardens where they grew their own fruit. Um, people had cherry trees and you could walk out, pick cherries and eat them. I want to say thank you to the Lions Club. This trip has been wonderful. I met a lot of new people and experienced their culture in the ways that I never thought I would. It's been a great time and I'm sure I'll go back. So thank you, Lions Club. Hi, my name's Brescia Newton. I'm 18 years old and I graduated from the Catherine Ann Porter School in the spring. I am taking a year off to travel thanks to the Lions Club and the experience I had and then I will go to dog training school next year. This summer I went to Australia with the Lions Club. My flight to Australia was about 13 hours from LA to Brisbane. I then flew to Proserpine in Queensland, which is where I stayed with my host family. So Proserpine is mostly cane farmland and all the sugar cane, most of the sugar cane farmers live there. We went to Bowen. Bowen is famous for its mangoes. One thing my host family took us to do was we went up to this national park called uh, Yungla and up there there are wild platypus and Australia is the only continent that has wild platypus. Australia is so different from how I expected it to be. They have barbecues like we do here in Texas but they're different. Here we are across the Pine State School. Mario's cooking the snags. 
We've got steak cooking over here. If you're not thinking of coming down, come on down. All the Aussie slang, of course, is hilarious. And so really, the scholarship you gave me for this was the only way I could have flown to Australia and had these experiences and met all these people. So really, you have changed my life 100% uh, for the better. And I so appreciate that. And I am so grateful for all the chances that you give all the students because I know that everyone that goes on a Lions Exchange will love it and have the time of their lives. So really from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. It was amazing. Hi, my name is Amelia Jordan. Uh, I just graduated from really high school and I will be attending Savannah College of Art and Design in the fall. This summer I went to Italy. I lived in Carpi with my host family and then traveled to Reggio Emilia for the camp. My host family was phenomenal. They they were so generous and so welcoming and my favorite part was when we went on a trip to Venice and I saw the beautiful city, everything was on the water and we took this wonderful gondola ride and it was just, it was like a scene from a movie. It was so amazing. Uh, and then the the week that I spent uh, with the campers was phenomenal as well. I mean, what can I say? I spent a week learning about all the different cultures and the amazing people that live in all these different countries. Uh, we went on this hike that wasn't really a hike. It was just like we scaled the side of the mountain that the castle was on, but the views from the castle were amazing. There was gorgeous sunsets every night when we had dinner on the terrace. And we went to Modena and we saw the cathedral and we went to uh, Milan and we saw the beautiful cathedral in Milan and Ferrera. We went on a, we went on a scavenger hunt I, and we went to this beautiful museum with art on the walls and on the ceiling. It was almost too good to be true. I felt like I was in a dream. Hello Lions, I just want to thank you so much for this amazing opportunity. It's one of those experiences that I'll hold with me for the rest of my life. I don't think I could ever forget the beautiful scenes, the wonderful food, and the incredible friends that I've made on this trip. And it's all thanks to you guys. So I, I am completely indebted. Thank you so much.